Welcome back to our Sweet Home 3D series. In today's video, we'll focus on improving both accuracy and speed in our home design process. Let's start by talking about the floor plan view. This is the ideal view for creating walls, defining rooms, and placing objects like doors, windows, and furniture with precision. However, it can sometimes be challenging to edit elements in this view, especially when you have objects at different elevations, like kitchen cabinets. You might find yourself struggling to differentiate between upper and lower cabinets when they overlap in the floor plan. Another limitation of the floor plan view is that after editing, you don't immediately get a sense of how your changes will look visually. For example, when you change the material of a door, you don't instantly see the full effect. At this stage of our series, we don't just need precision, but also speed to bring our designs to life faster. That's where editing in the 3D view comes in. Let's elevate our skills by activating the options to enable selection and editing in 3D view, along with aerial view centered on selection. Here's how to do it. Go to the file menu and select preferences. In the Preferences window, make sure to check Selection and Editing in 3D View. This will allow you to select and edit objects directly in the 3D View, which is super helpful when you're working with both wall and floor cabinets. Also, check Aerial View centered on Selection. This ensures the Aerial View automatically focuses on the selected item, helping you stay focused on the specific element you're editing. Once you've made these changes, click OK to save them. Now, you can maximize the 3D view by dragging the upper and left edges of the window to enlarge it. If it's not already in Aerial View, right-click within the 3D window and select Aerial View from the menu. This gives you a clear overhead perspective, making it easier to view and adjust your design as needed. Another useful feature is the ability to display the 3D view in a separate window. Simply right-click on the 3D view, and from the menu, select Display in Separate Window. You can adjust the size by dragging the edges, and move it around the screen by dragging its title bar. To return the 3D view to its default position, just click the Close button in the upper right corner. While the 3D view may not offer the same precision as the floor plan when it comes to placing or moving objects, it excels at making quick adjustments to architectural elements. For instance, when you click on a door, the view automatically centers on it. You can easily rotate around the object by holding down the mouse button and moving your cursor outside the object, or by pressing the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. To move the object, Simply click and drag it within the 3D view. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out for different perspectives, or use the up and down arrow keys for the same effect. Double-clicking on any furniture, wall, door, window, or floor will open the Modify window, where you can easily adjust the properties of each object. For example, when editing furniture, you can fine-tune its dimensions, material, and color to perfectly match your design. For walls, you can customize the height, thickness, and color to suit your space. Doors and windows allow you to change the frame color, or even select different textures for the doors. Floors can be transformed by selecting different textures and materials, whether it's wood, hell, or other options. These powerful customization features give you complete control over every detail in your design. Plus, in the 3D view, you'll see your changes instantly, allowing you to visualize the results in real time. Don't forget the powerful combination of Control and Z, which undoes your last actions, saving a lot of time when correcting digital mistakes in architectural design. 
And that's it for today. With these tips, you'll be able to work more efficiently and get the most out of both the floor plan and 3D views. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, and feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. See you in the next video.